Hello, lovely people. It is your boy, Kwabina Liquid. And I'm bringing to you another edition of Spotlight Sports, the only show in Ghana where we talk to campus celebrities and find out about their educational background, their career, and their lifestyle. Right now, we are inside Campus Hub. This place is a romantic place, a place where you can bring your loved one, you can bring your girlfriend, your boyfriend, Charlie, anybody, just come here and come and eat, enjoy, relax yourself. Once again, my name is Kwabina Liquid. You can follow me on all social media platforms, on Facebook and Twitter, Kwabina Lick, and on Instagram, Kwabina underscore Lick. So today, we have a wonderful guest who has joined us here on Spotlight Pulse. A guest, I'm sure the Vice Chancellor of the University is even looking for. Yes. So, she's a She's a student of the University of Ghana. She's a final year student reading business administration. You know what? Let me not bore you with the talks. Help me welcome Etonam Bedi. Hey, you know my name, Papa. <laughs> I've, been, I've been stalking you, so I know your name. Really? That's nice. So, Etonam, I, I, saw, I, I, saw something, I saw something on Instagram. Uh, someone, someone called you Aigbe Beyonce. Can I call you Aigbe Beyonce? No, call me. I be Caribbe. <laughs> don't come Beyonce. Beyonce's vibe there. I don't have it. Okay, so she said we should call her uh, I be Caribbe. All right. So, um, Etonam, so give us like a brief summary about your background, where you were born, where you grew up, where you're living. Like, just a summary about your background. Um, okay. I was born in the Volta region, particularly Denu. Yeah. Um, I grew up there, I spent like almost 10 years there, then I moved to Accra to school here, and I went to Accra to school, and I'm back to Accra again. So, then is in the Volta region? Yes, in the Volta region. So, you, you speak Ewe? Very well. I can be right here. Oh, then I think we should continue the interview in Ewe. <laughs> they will understand later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, this, so how old are you? I'm 22. I, I was 22 um, February 4th. February 4th. Wow. So, so how did you celebrate your birthday? Mm, I, just, I just spent some time in the house with my friends. That was it. We, we cooked, we ate, we drank, we played music, we danced. That was it. I mean. Wow, wow, wow. That's so great. So, uh, so tell, us, tell us about your educational background. Like, where did you school from primary to JHS to high school? And then, I mean, you want to know everything. <laughs> so, I started school in Volta region, like I said. I went to Amazing Love. Then I later came. Where, where is it located, Amazing Love? Amazing Love is in Denu. Yeah. Then I came to Accra. I went to Achimota Preparatory School. I continued JHS from there. Then I went to Takaradi Archbishop Porter Girls Secondary School. Then I'm here, University of Ghana. So Porter Girls, were you were you a prefect or something? I mean, were you having any position in school? I aspired to be one, but they didn't give it to me. But I was a dormitory prefect mm. there. A dormitory prefect. <laughs> I was a class prefect at some point in time. Wow, wow. Then, then I can see you like this leadership position. I mean, I'm a born leader, so I mean, anywhere, I just like to take up leadership roles. I feel I'm good at it. All right, all right. So, so tell us about your university educational system, like your university education background. Like, give us insight about it. It's nothing much. I am in University of Ghana. I... I'm offering business administration, marketing specifically. And yeah, I'm still on it. I'm in my final year. I'll be done May or so, yeah. And that's it. I mean, from there, we'll see what happens next. So, so how is business admin like? How is business admin treating you like right now? Business admin, I mean, it's fair to me because I did business in secondary school. So I'm kind of, almost all the stuff, we are taught here. I'm kind of familiar with them, so it 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 has treated me fairly. Just that I mean, sometimes I find it difficult with managing the time, cause 
actually sometimes we just feel lazy <laughs> like <laughs> class no one person won't call but you have to go so if you get those strict lectures that if you don't come to class you don't attend the rest of the classes or the right test like almost every week you have no option than to go to class and there was this class that I had no option than to go because I was the class rep so like every day I have to be so so you always go to class you don't miss lectures I miss some so like out of 10 oh I don't I mean out of 10 I don't always miss lectures. If I miss today, I'm not missing like the next three weeks. So like, like I said, once in a while, don't come and do anything for me. Okay, <laughs> okay. So so like, I I don't know, but then I asked that because I, I thought you were scarce. Because um, when I was trying to get in touch with you, I don't know if I don't know. Like it was so difficult. Why? If I'm not if I'm not in school, I'm working. So I hardly have like some. I, have, I hardly get free times for myself. So if you want to find me, is that at work or in class? Where do you work? I'm an actress, so I do different jobs at different locations. So what what do you do on your free day? When I'm not having anything to do, right? I just stay at home. I don't sleep. I don't like sleeping, so I stay at home. I play music. I I read some stuff. I go online. I just read random stuff. I mean, basically, on my free day, I'm home doing nothing. Like I'm just having time for myself. Are you, are you a resident of your of campus? I'm I'm on campus. All right. So now let's let's come to your career. Uh, was was acting your dream? Um, initially it wasn't, but when I went to SHS, then there was this time. Okay, my first year in SHS, we came back home, and I, mean, I wasn't doing anything. I was, I was then at my dad's place, so like there was nothing to do in the house. So all the time, I'm in my laptop watching movies. Then, like, I mean, when I continue doing it all the time, I feel like, yo, like I'm building, I'm having some kind of like passion towards acting. So I told my dad that oh, I, I, I think I want to act. I mean, I just, I don't want to stop school, but I want to do that too because I love it. So after SHS, he took me to a media school to brush, I mean, up some things. Then I started from there. So why, why didn't you, uh, I mean, do theater arts but ended up in business school? Because theater arts is basically acting. So yeah. why didn't you do theater arts and ended up in the business school? You know, I feel... Um, I mean, you can't you can't use one road like all the time, and also I know that if you want to be someone who is successful or someone who is going to be wealthy in the future, you don't have to like focus on just one thing. So I know acting is something that I mean I I like doing and I love, but aside that too, I like business too. So if I get a chance to balance both, why not? So that's why right after school I went to a media school like um for six months so six months i wasn't i mean I, I came to university but i still finished the rest of the month so when i came to university i decided to do my business too so i can balance both because acting when you start i mean you won't get the money when you start so you need something else to like back up so on campus or aside acting what other extracurricular activities as in what job do you do aside acting is it just acting or what? Okay, aside acting, um, I model too sometimes, not runway, just photo modeling and commercials. And also I'm working on um, a clothing business. Yeah, it's already out. We are making sales and order. I mean, this outfit is from there. This beautiful outfit is from Makita Couture on Instagram. So, so that's, that's your clothing line? It's not a clothing line, it's just a clothing business, yeah. Is it your business? I'm, I'm partnering with my friend, my best friend. So we are doing it together. How, how did you get into Jolo? I mean, <coughs> I've, <coughs> I've known actors, actresses, who are very good. I mean, extremely good. They are too good and uh, they are known, that platform. So, so tell us, how, how did you do it? How did you get to Jolo? How did you get to that platform? So, 
I would say basically I had the opportunity to, and I was prepared for it, because I I've, I've been to f I, I've been to farmhouse before I show you I've been to farmhouse twice, and both of them I went for an audition, but they never called me for any um, shoes or anything. So um, somewhere around last year, beginning of last year, I went to Osha like for a program, and I saw Ivan there. So I spoke to him, oh, I came for an audition, but I wasn't called in order. He was like, okay, fine, come to the office again. So I went to the office. When I went to the office, they auditioned me again. Then he told me to go. Then he called me for some other job. Then later on, they saw I was good, and he called me for YOLO. So it was just that little opportunity, time of opportunity I got to meet him. That was what made everything possible. You, you said you were prepared. You were prepared for the interview. How prepared? No interview. Sorry, you were <laughs> you were prepared for the opportunity. Yes. Uh, how prepared were you? So that day, when I was, I went for the audition, right? And I came back to my, I came back to school. Then the following day, I, I wasn't even expecting them to call me. They called me that I have to come to the office right now, and um, they are having a meeting. And it, like, if I'm not there, then I means I won't be able to like. They just told me to come because they were having a meeting for a new shoot. And fortunately for me that day, I wasn't doing anything. I was just in bed. So when they called me, I just got up, dressed, and went there straight. They didn't even expect me to come because the time they called me, the time I got there, it was unbelievable. So it's, or was Yolo your first set you've been on? Nah, Yolo. I've been on several sets. Uh, Yolo was just last year, right? I've been acting for four years now, so definitely wasn't. So, so what was the experience with Yolo like? Mm, it wasn't bad. I would say I was kind of used to the industry before I went on Yolo set, but I still like I still um, got exposed to like new things. I met new people. And also, it has helped me improve upon my acting skills, basically. So, w w how how good or like what good has YOLO and acting brought to you in your life? YOLO and what? Acting, like basically YOLO or acting. How good has it like what good has it brought to your life? Oh. What has acting brought to your life? What good or bad has it done to you? I mean, it's something I like doing, so I embrace the good times and the bad times. I mean, acting basically just, what it has done to me, I mean, it has given me a good platform to showcase whatever I want to showcase. It has given me a voice. It has made people, like, I mean, when I go out and I meet people, they, they act nice towards me and everything. Yeah, I know some of them are fake, but I still, <laughs> they still act nice, okay. yeah. So, so is, is, was you paying or did you pay you? Was it pay, did it pay you? Of course, someone has a big production, so obviously they will pay. So how much do they pay you? Hey, why do you want to know my pocket? Oh. <laughs> we all want to know. We all want to know. So, that one so, so, so it's acting pain, basically. Um, not really, but I mean, for now, I think I'm good for now. Because mm. where I want to get, I'm not there yet. So if the coins I'm getting now is okay for this level, yeah. So, um, uh, so tell us, uh, what other movies have you shot? Is it just YOLO you've been on or like, aside after YOLO, what other movies have you shot? Before YOLO, I shot Grilled, I shot Forbidden Fruit, I shot a couple of series, Yes or No, Infatuations, um, I forgot. Upon all these sets you've been on, um, which would you say has been the best set you've been on? Best in what terms, please? Best in everything. I mean, best is relative, right? Someone's best might be food. Someone's best might be shooting. Someone's best might be so like best. Uh, I don't know. I mean, all the sets I've been to have been good. Yeah, basically. So out of the sets you've been on, none of it has been like extremely good. Like there, I mean, top notch. Like oh, Yolo did me good. It gave me a very big platform. So. I mean, YOLO, YOLO is, I mean, YOLO was the best set I've been on. So upon all the sets, let's see saying that YOLO. I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but you said, you said that's said the best set. YOLO gave me the exposure I have now. 
exposure you have now? So best in terms of exposure is YOLO. <laughs> so best in terms of exposure, it is YOLO. So now it's let's 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 talk about your lifestyle. Okay. Um I, I saw a tattoo on your hand. I saw a tattoo. Like I saw it on your hand. Your left hand is I saw a tattoo on your hand. So yes, t- tell us like what influenced this tattoo. Nothing, it's just a writing. Protect me, Lord. Protect me, Lord. It's protect me, Lord. I want God to protect me. So So you think that if you want God to protect you, the tattoo is the best? I don't think. I love tattoos. So if I'm writing something on my body, it has to be something that is significant to one and something that I won't look at and regret later on. So if even if I'm old or something happens and I want to take off my tattoos just in case, I won't even regret this because it's nothing. I mean, I just want God to protect me. That's why I wrote it. Okay, so... Do you- Instead of drawing, snake... And those stuff, all right. <laughs> God protects me. So, do you do you have any other tattoo at your body or on your body? No, I don't. So it's just protect me, Lord. Yeah. No. Okay. So, so, so tell us, uh, what influences your 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 style of dressing, your dressing, your hair? You know, basically how you appear. What influences that? Nothing really. Just my mood, and also where I'm going to. If if but, but I heard something. I heard something. Okay, you finish. What do you? I heard. I heard. I heard you a lesbian. <laughs> I heard that. Like I don't know. I heard yeah, that. I heard that somewhere. So yeah, that's why I'm asking what influences. Question. Because I had an interview with Zion, and he also asked. And when I go out, he asks. But what? What? How do lesbians look? I don't know. I heard it. That's why I'm asking you. I'm not a lesbian. I can't be a lesbian. So you were saying something. You were telling us how you. What influences how you, you dress? It's my mood. You get it. So if I want to go somewhere that I want to feel so free, this is what, what I'm wearing. I have a lot of rounds to do today. And I need to be comfortable in what I'm wearing. You get it. So today I, 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 took, I wore this gown, this beautiful gown, because I want to feel free. If I want to feel smart, very smart, I would wear trousers with my sneakers and my top, depending on where I'm going to. So it's all about my mood. Right. Of course, what I have. Yeah. So please, Etsy says she's not a lesbian. Now let's let's come back to this. Um, I I I I I forgot to ask this. Um, which hall are you in? Ivandi Hostel. Room number. <laughs> Why do you want to know my room number? I'm not going to tell you my room number. Oh no, we just want to know. Maybe some of us will come and your baby baby should show. Oh, come and look for her. Say beko. Who person will share me? Bra campus hub. Me share with her. Me room there. Dabi dabi. Okay, okay. So, so tell us how do you deal with um negative comments on social media and uh, negative things? I I I I saw a post somewhere that um you are copying Fela Makafi. You want to be like Fela Makafi, and there was this blogger who said that she, the blogger said. You are copying fella. You want to be like fella. But Ghanaians, I don't know what's wrong with us. Like, yo, who is fella? Fella is a normal person. And I'm also etty, like I'm a normal person too. So, honestly, I'm not copying fella. If I look up to someone, I'm not saying anything, but she's not someone I'll look up to. Why won't you look up to her? She has, she has, you like her. She has money, she has fame, she has everything. She's, I mean. Now, where she wants to go, she's going. Where I want to go to, I want, I'll, I'll go there. But I don't want to follow her. <laughs> See, I'm not copying fella, okay? Let's just, I'm not copying fella. Okay. I mean, I've, I've had, if it's the hair, if it's the hair, then you guys are wrong. Because I've had this hair since, before even fella dyed her hair. Because she, she, she didn't have dyed hair, right? Yeah, so don't say I was copying. I'm not copying fella. So, I be Cardi B is not copying fella. I'm copying Cardi B. I'm, I'll be a rapper soon, though. So. <laughs> okay, so, so, so let's talk about this. Um, the video you shot with Baz Ghana, do you think that video has done good to you or has done bad to you? The video that, in case for those who don't know which video, the video which came out that Etty is a porn actress, she's a porn star. Do you think it has done good to you? 
Yeah, I mean, it gave me some. It added to my fame because I already had a fame before it came. It wasn't because of that video I became famous because that video I shot it before I shot YOLO or I became famous. So it's because I'm famous. That's why the person took it to go and put it there to spoil my image. But I don't know what's wrong with humans. What comes to your mind? Like, yo, why would you sit there and want to tarnish your own neighbors or friends or your own, like, your own like? I mean, why would you sit down and think of that? Karma, karma is a bitch, you know. It will come back to the, whoever did that. It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. When you go and watch it, you can see it's not porn. So, I mean, I'm cleared. So, back to the question. Um, do you think it did good to you? Yeah, like I said, it added to my fame. So, that was a good. It made some people see me. The people who go to the porn sites and watch porn. They saw my face. <laughs> At least my face appeared there, but in a good way. Okay, so the video it is shot did good to her, but a positive good to her. So okay, let, let me let me ask the last question that we wrap up for the day. Um, a lot of people are crashing on your social media. When we started the interview, I told you that it was I was like, hey, I'll be stalking you. A lot of people are crashing on your social media. So uh, we want to know. So that if we know that you're occupied, we'll stop chasing you. I mean, I'm talking for the guys. Ah. <laughs> I'm not Are you dead? but I don't want them to come. Why, why don't you want them to come? If I meet the right person, I'll choose the person. So, so right now, the idea. I don't mind people there because I don't know you. Unless I know you, I'll mind you if I don't know you. So you're telling us that you don't want the guys to come. Oh, they can come if they want me to if they want us to work I mean business wise I mind everyone business wise I, I mind everyone but as human I mean as, as one person I can't have a lot of people as my friends you get it so if you are crashing right just pray that you meet me outside Instagram because Instagram there is no somewhere to live so if you meet me then you tell me you are crashing on me and I like you you can take it from there Okay, so, so tell us, uh, like, what type of guy do you want to date? Or what type of guy do you wish to meet? I just, I just, I like good-looking people, so. If you are good-looking, and you are good-looking inside, too. Because I don't like... How do you define good-looking? Good what do you mean by good-looking? Good-looking is my eyes. I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't tell you how it is, because... What looks good to you might not look good to me. What looks good to me might not look good to you. So like they said, beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. So if I meet you and I like you, fine. All right. All right. So Etty is saying that she wants a good looking man. So if you are good looking and you see her outside Instagram, Charlie you know, Pucham. You have to be good looking in the pocket too. Not just I use because I learned Good looking boys, they don't like to spend. So you be money girl. You be money girl. I be spending on you. You be money girl. I'm not money girl. Everyone likes money. Why are you guys making it seem like like girls only it's only girls that like money? You you are there. If if you are going to marry a girl, the girl is poor, very poor. Yeah. And the girl doesn't have anything. You will go and marry. I'll marry. You will marry. I'll marry. You will marry. 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 Me, I will marry. <laughs> okay, the person should wait. If if you don't have if your pocket is not good looking, wait. Let me get my money then I know I can take care of you. But right now, dear, I can't take care of someone else. So if you are coming, you also have to have. So what kind of money? Like Sika saying, should, should it be a billionaire, millionaire, one CD guy, two CD, 100 CDs? Like you too, you don't know what I mean. I don't know. Say, we, we don't know your, 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 you know, your capacities. I, mean, I don't want, my name is Sika. I'm not greedy. If you have like, not, ah, you see, I think this is Jessica. 100 CDs guy is no money. No, something cool like to get us going, normal rounds, like I mean, not much. But if you have much, it won't be bad. <laughs> okay. So the whole point we say, Charlie, if you don't get money, make you not approach him. Oh, you that be the point. Please, if you don't get money, if you don't get money, don't no, if you don't get money, make you not approach him. <laughs> okay, okay, so we just want to test your intelligence before we close. We close for the day. Oh, it's just simple. You see, you use Wi-Fi. You use Wi-Fi. Hey, that thing. 
use Wi Fi. Yeah, I use Wi Fi. You see, we have a term on campus, we call it yeah, Leki Wi Fi. Yeah, you call it Wi-Fi. You like Wi Fi. I don't understand. Like, you use Wi Fi, like they invest this Wi Fi. You go and stand, oh, you go and stand somewhere. You don't stand somewhere and use the Wi Fi. Hmm. I'd rather sleep. You don't, you don't stand somewhere and use the invest this Wi Fi. Where I am, but Wi Fi is not there. So, you don't use Wi Fi. I don't use the university Wi Fi. So, which Wi Fi do you use? I use my data. I bought a my fi but I left it in an Uber. The Uber driver didn't bring it back, so. But it is still Wi-Fi. You've used Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. But if you use Wi-Fi. But if you use Wi-Fi before. Okay, yeah, I have. <laughs> so, so tell us the full. <laughs> but you didn't let me finish my question. I know that's what you're going to ask me. Let me answer it before you ask me. I don't know the full meaning of Wi-Fi. I watch I watch an interview and the person said it, but I didn't pay attention to it. I would have gotten it. Next time. Okay, next time. So, I, I just got a question from social media. Um, explain to us who a celebrity is. And tell us who your mentor is. Who is your mentor? And tell us who a celebrity is. A celebrity is basically someone who has a large amount of influence and also has good following. And yeah, what about pub- who is famous is a celebrity. What about public figure? Public figure is almost similar. Just that a celebrity is, in, in a, it has some kind of significance because it's mostly celebrated. You get it. But they are all the same thing. Public figure, celebrity. We just hope she's not lying to us. Figures. I'm not lying. You can check your dictionary. You see that they give you famous or they give you influential. Oh, yeah. Get it. <laughs> we just hope you are not lying. I'm not lying. If I don't know, I'll tell you I don't know. <laughs> So, so tell us who your mentor is and uh, who your crush is on in Ghana. Who is your crush in Ghana? Celebrity crush in Ghana. And who is your mentor? I was crushing on Kelvin Boy, but I'm not crushing on him anymore. I didn't. He joined the line. I didn't join the line. David, David, there's nothing. I mean, uh, crush, crushes don't last. It's gone. So it's gone. Why are you asking me? <laughs> okay, okay. You tell us, tell us who your mentor is. My mentor is... I don't know. I had I, I, I like this lady, Taraji P. Henson, but I feel, I mean, you have to look for someone who is your style. You can't just follow blindly. I feel, sh- I'm not like her. But I, I, I really look up to this girl, Nancy Simi. I don't know if you know her. Nancy Simi. Yeah, Nancy Simi. You know, we have some similarities and all that. And she's doing well, so I want to, I'm looking okay. forward to her. Even though I'll surpass her soon. <laughs> She will surpass her. Yeah. All right. So, um, oh, they'll be yeah, They will make you say, say what you want. Because immediately you say, bing, they've taken this bing, bing. <laughs> it will make you more famous. Some penis are. My penis are, but I, I like fame. But if you are saying it, say what I said. Don't come and twist the words. So, please, bloggers, if you are saying it, say it like she said. Oh, yes. That way. I know I said it. Oh. All right, Eti, thank you so much for joining us today in, on Spotlight. Pulse. Yeah, give us the social media handles and let's, let's close. Okay. So, Eti Bedi, E T T Y B E D I on Instagram, Eti underscore Bedi on Twitter. Yeah. Yes, so that was Etonam Bedi. And once again, this is the only campus celebrity show in Ghana where we talk to campus celebrities and find out about their background, their lifestyle, their career, and their educational background as well. My name is and will forever be Kwabena Liquid. You can follow me on all social media platforms on Facebook and Twitter, Kwabena Lick, and on Instagram, Kwabena underscore Lick. Thank you. Peace out. Trade beats, trade beats, trade beats, trade beats, trade beats.